Happy Sundays with Cinnamon. Hello, everyone. We're getting really <laughs> up close and personal here so people can. Yeah, and I will do my best to speak up. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we've heard that feedback is that it's not easily heard. So I hope this will be better this week. Let us know. Because it's very important this week. Yes, it's very important. Let me First, see, what are you doing down there? Uh, well, I, we're going to talk about prayer. And this is the prayer bowl that I use daily, multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. um, I have a rock in it that says, pray. Aww. <laughs> and... Um, it, and I first I want to thank any and all of you who have who joined me in prayer for Robin, my daughter, who is uh, doing a surgery tomorrow, so we could double our efforts. She's going to have her femur replaced, and oh my gosh! And she's she's amazing. She's in great spirits. She speaks of having been shot as the incident, <laughs> so it's not you know building this. Uh, um, dramatic dance around what occurred is she's using all her energy to heal and not to look out there for for anything it's, well it's I would like to tell you Sen uh, today out of all the days I've posted you know please pray for Robin quite a few times and today more people have put Robin's name oh, or Robin exclamation point oh, more people lovely. have today than than they have in the whole time Well, so I have a children's exciting. class and at the end of the class we say we hold hands and we say Robin 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 and that and that's why I wanted to talk about prayer today it, it's um, It's my way of life What it, it's much like meditation you learn to meditate by sitting wherever you sit and then, okay, I meditated for however long when the alarm goes off, and then you walk away and you do the dishes or you do the... Then eventually, you bring the meditation with you, and it becomes, your life then becomes the meditation. Uh, with pathways, it's the same thing. I, I like to tell people I'm building a better robot. You know, the robot that was doing things that didn't work, I'm turning into, uh, with, with the cooperation of the person, a robot that works better, then you release the robots and your automatic response is, for instance, the first pathway is I am freeing myself from security, sensation, and power addictions that make me try to forcefully control situations in my life and thus destroy my serenity and keep me from loving myself and others. And that's beautiful because it takes you away from the lack of responsibility that your mind has used to dialogue with you over the years, then you cannot rest on your laurels because that's the better robot. Yes, it brings you more peace to take responsibility. And then we go to releasing ourselves from even that to I have freed myself from security, sensation, and power addictions that made me try to forcefully control situations in my life and thus destroyed my serenity and kept me from loving myself and others. That's freedom. Because how long are you going to say, I'm freeing myself, I'm freeing myself, <laughs> you know? Because then you're still declaring that you're stuck. So, so we want to allow the pathway dialogue to become a cellular knee-jerk reaction. Then we let go of the crutches because the wound is healed and we're free. So that's what prayer is for me. It's this constant state of thank you, God, thank you, God. Uh, you could say, what are you thanking God for? Your kid's shot. She's been in intensive care forever. I, I thank the shooter and, and all the powers that be that she's not dead. So there's always something to be grateful for because God is in all of it. And what if she was dead? And if she was dead, she would be closer to me than she ever she'd be in this room with me. <laughs> because, so you would say thank you for that. Because she's out of the body that limits her to Albuquerque, New Mexico. And my, my love and my joy is with her now because I'm, I'm in the spirit of prayer. And she, like I don't, I don't want her to call me or respond to my call so much because she needs her energy. I, I've spoken to her a couple of times and her little voice was just so, <laughs> it was Aww. just so tired because she's not getting sleep and, and uh, 
all the surgeries and all of that. So, so uh, there's beauty in all of it. You just have to recognize that love is always here, even where it seems not to be. And if you're in a prayerful state, a meditative prayerful state, um, I can tell you that the, uh, I had a student who was a professional hypnotist and he used to sit next to me all the time, all the time. And so I said to him uh, one night, Jerry, I've never uh, been hypnotized. And I go to it with every intention to just let go and be hypnotized and nothing occurs. I'm just there waiting to be hypnotized. And he said, sin. You are in a constant state of hypnosis. <laughs> oh my God, that's so <laughs> And great. I understood that immediately. Because that's all hypnosis is, is going into the deepest, deepest knowing and finding that peace. And so it, it, it was just delightful because I knew exactly what he meant. So back to the prayer bowl. Um, I, I did want to ask a yeah. question just because it slipped by here. Uh -huh. So if Robin had died, and I know that's a hypothetical, I just know that you would be thanking God still. And that, of course. Yes, and that could... That I had her in my life for the years that I had. That she, she was a significant uh, messenger of how love works that I gave her all the love I could give, got more than I gave at times. It felt that way. And now This is a time though a lot of people get a lot of people get angry with God. Well, that's because they're blaming God. God gave us the extraordinary choice. For instance, if, if Rob had died, I have heard her say more than once over the years, when I die let it be on duty, where I am making my life and my death count. So that would comfort me. Wow, she fulfilled that wish. And I'm very glad that she's not dead. I mean, I, mm -hmm, that's course. what I want. I never stop putting out for what I want. I am a master at accepting what I get as yes. what I need. And then just wanting with all my heart for what I need. Because it's all here for our spiritual growth. All our bodies are going to die. Mine, Robin's, all of our bodies are going to die. Our spirits are what we're here to feed and to share with others that this is who you really are. Your spirit is never going to die. And your body has got to. That's what we came here to do is die. We get attached. How do you know this for sure? Because you speak am, with such authority. Because I am so connected to those of my loved ones who are on the other side. Yeah. My husband, my grandma. Uh, so, oh, that's a phone ringing that we're not going to answer right now. <laughs> and so unless it rings immediately again, then I will answer it. And the reason I want you to know that is because I have told certain people that if you call me and I don't answer, it's usually because I'm sessioning or busy uh, taping or whatever I'm doing. And if you call immediately, that means emergency and I will answer and interrupt whatever is going on. So if we are interrupted, it will be because there mm. is an emergency somewhere. And so, can we get back to the prayer bowl? Yes, get back to that prayer bowl. <laughs> okay, prayer bowl has names of people who have said to me, oh, would you pray for me? And some who have not. Some who have said, take your prayers and shove them, literally. And I have so, some of those in my bowl. I, I won't post the, them on yes, Facebook, but I, uh, yeah, those are the I love that. Yeah, th th that's the love where it seems not to be. That's the challenge. What about now, Sin? You're going to love me now? Yeah. So, and I, uh, St. Francis, I call him Francesco because he, he was my grandma's patron saint as well. And so I have this prayer card of his. And I, I keep it in the bowl, and I stir it up, and I let him basically pick who's going who's gonna to come out. Oh. And I don't look, and I, I lift and then let everything drop. So let's see who came out today. And what I do, this is Tanya. Oh. Our dear Tanya. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So Tanya is um, a surrogate sister of of Kathleen's and a surrogate daughter of mine <laughs> and a teacher trainee and a lot of wonderful things uh, that represent her to us. 
and she is in need of prayer right now, specifically uh, in certain areas of her life. And so what I'll do is I will just keep her name lifted to God. What I call prayer it is often different when other people call. When I say, would you pray for Robin? I just mean lift her name to to love, to universal law, to God, to whatever you call that which created you. Because that power knows what's going on with Robin better than I do. Has more inside information. God is inside that leg. And God knows all the details. All I do is say, God, you know what I want. And God even knows. I don't even have to put it together in words. So a lot of people shy away from that word prayer because they have it that prayer means some glorified flowery statement that really is not necessary. It's beautiful at times. I love to hear the eloquence of some people's prayers. Oh, me too. Marion Williamson is beautiful. great. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I don't count myself among those eloquent prayer people. Mm -hmm. I, I am more earthy, more... God, this is a chair, and I really like this chair. Don't, <laughs> you know, don't let anything happen to this chair, okay? <laughs> and if it does, then so be it. I'm, I'm constantly surrendered, constantly putting out for what I want, and then accepting what I get, mm -hmm. and continuing to pray about it. <laughs> Maybe you change your mind. Maybe down the road, that's what I'll need. Although always, and I don't use that word lightly, and you know that, Kathleen, always surrender to, if it's here, it's what I need. Yes. Because the fourth pathway tells us that. I always have everything I need to enjoy my here and now. Unless I'm letting my consciousness be dominated by demands and expectations based on the dead past or the imagined future. And living in either of those places destroys your here and now, robs you of any joy or any growth that you could have here. So mm. that keeps you here, knowing that whatever you, when people say, well, how do you know what you need? Look around. <laughs> I need this prayer bowl. I need you. I need all of you who are watching because this is here. This is what I have. Mm -hmm. and I Ever since I that. started the prayer bowl um, and praying for people I don't know, except for seeing them on Facebook here and there, I have just been creating so much joy with it because it is in giving that we receive. Just the fact that I'm spending different times in my day saying their name either out loud or in my head and not sitting around thinking about me and what I need to do next in my imagined future. Of, you know, I gotta go to the grocery store, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta yeah, do this, uh, I gotta uh, do that. Uh, uh, and instead just saying today was Terry, Terry, Terry. There. And I just love it. I yeah. it just, I really do. And I would encourage all of you to, to do it with us. Yeah. And I thank you, Sen. I've known you how long? Three and a half years at least. I've known about this prayer bowl for quite a long time and I just started it. I don't judge myself for that. And I realized, gosh, that's where it's at. It's, it's I forget otherwise. Uh -huh. I get it with my day. Yeah. I'm like, oh, dear God, blah, blah, blah. And it gets to be fun. To, you, oh, it's, it's like, so fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm all, who's it going to be? I got one girl, Lisa, three times in one week. Yeah. I was like, this is insane. <laughs> and then this other girl goes, get me in that prayer bowl. You know, because it's true. It's real, folks. And you don't get someone three times in one yeah, week. Yeah, I got another yeah. girl twice. And so it's 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 been a great journey for me yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah. And and really getting to know my Facebook friends uh, that I don't know personally, don't know their personalities. Uh -huh. um, speaking of Facebook people and one person we know, we picked today two people that you have messages for. One we know, our, dear, um, our dearest, uh, Paula Diaz. And the other is Rich Oaken, the author of... Um, uh, oh gosh, I'm blanking on the name. He and his little dog, Maya, and his book that I love so much. And I'm sorry, Rich, because right now uh, I'm blanking. Um, Rich the Book Oak. of Maya. <laughs> the Book of Maya. Anyway, it's a great book, folks. Yeah. It's all over my Facebook page. <laughs> so uh, The Stars and the Moon and Maya, something like that. So anyway. what I want to say to him is that it would serve him... As, as I'm getting this, that it would serve him to recognize his own value as he brings himself to the 
desire to create romantic relationship, to go to it more with an awareness of what he brings to it rather than what he's going to get from it. Mm. And uh, for Paula, a similar thing to every day acknowledge her personal growth. Mm. And watch. I've seen it, Paula. Watch if if your mind, Paula, wants to get in the way. Yeah, but blah blah blah. Whatever comes after, but remember that word, but gets in your way. So you want to get your butt out of the way. <laughs> Some butts are bigger than others. <laughs> exactly. And and so so, Paula, just be very aware every day to look at. Wow, I did this differently yesterday. If it's early in the morning, or I'm going to do it differently today. And just really foster and nurture your own growth. Mm, love that. Yeah. All right. So pray, you guys. Just so easy. Just say the name and lift it up to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> or here. Hold it out here because we can create heaven here too. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Sam. Yeah. Oh, thank happy, you all. Happy Sundays with Cinnamon, everyone. Yes. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.